Welcome friends. In this video, let's discuss about Smart Cities mission. This topic is very important from prelims, mains and interview point of view. So I am going to I am going to cover this topic very comprehensively and divide this topic into three parts. In the first part, I am going to cover these issues. Why we need smart cities, smart city examples from around the world, the four pillars of a smart city and components, key components in a smart city. What are the components which must be there in order to consider a city as smart city. So let's discuss these issues in this video. So in the first place, why we need smart cities? So because cities are considered as engines of economic growth. In India itself, 31%, approximately 31% of the population are living in urban areas. So these urban areas contributes 63% of the GDP of the country. So this is huge. And by the year 2020, urban population will be increasing to 40% of the population of the country. And these spaces, these urban areas will be contributing 75% of the GDP of the country. So 40% contributing to 75% of the GDP. So these are all the brighter side of the cities of the country. But these cities are facing huge problems in its own right like problems in the areas of uh, waste management, unsustainable waste generation, okay, and water pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, traffic jams, okay, and other issues like uh, uh, organized crime, uh, terrorist activities, okay. So these problems need smarter solution. So government of India has introduced a new, new policy program called Smart Cities Mission. Uh, in order to find a smarter solution to the cities of the country and make them sustainable to face the needs of the future generation, future generation and future century. So before going further, now let's look at how Indian cities grew over the past two decades. So Delhi, the India's capital, had only 97 lakh uh, population in, in the year 1990. It increased to 2 crore 49 lakh by the year 2014. So this is a huge increase in the population. You can imagine the burden on the natural resources of the Delhi, okay, of, of, of the city to meet the needs of this increasing population. Similarly, Bangalore uh, in 1990, it had only 40 lakh population. In 2014, it increased to 97 lakh, that is close to 1 crore. So you can imagine, imagine the burden that is placed by, by these cities on the natural resources, okay? So we need smarter solution to make these cities sustainable. So first, now let's look at what is a smart city? Well, there is no universal definition for that. But if we look at the objectives of the smart city mission, we come to know that there are certain things in common, in common uh, with respect to smart cities. The objective of the smart city mission is to promote cities that provide core infrastructure, okay, core infrastructure and give a decent quality of life to its citizens and also a clean and sustainable environment and application of smarter solution to the problems of the city. So it, here we have four points here. Core infrastructure uh, for, uh, includes 24 bar 7 electricity, clean drinking water, <coughs> better public transportation system. Uh, clean air, water and soil. So these are all the core infrastructure and clean and sustainable environment um, is very much needed. Application of smarter solution, for example, use of mobile technology, GPS, GIS, information technology uh, to meet the uh, problems of the city. So this is the objective of the smart city. So these things must be in common in order to consider a city as a smart city. So before moving further, now let's look at some of the examples uh, from smart cities around the world okay so first is barcelona barcelona had huge energy problem in its own right so they adopted solar energy they promoted solar energy to increase the sustainability so this is one of the smarter solution uh, to the energy crisis in the city uh, curitibia they adopted increasing recycling through citizen incentives dongcheng a city in china uh, here urban local bodies address the complaints of the citizens using mobile technology. They seek complaints from the citizens through mobile phones and they use GPS and GIS technology <coughs> excuse me, and divided the city into smaller grids in order to monitor and implement this 
this scheme. Okay, so this is smarter solution to the problem. And Hangzhou had bike sharing system to improve the public mobility and reduce the traffic congestion. And Hubli, a city in uh, in in Karnataka, adopted mobile technology to intimate to alert the citizens 30 minutes before uh, the release of water from the uh, from the city water body. Okay, so London London had automate, automated congestion pricing. Uh, this means if any citizen in the city uh, travels in single occupancy vehicles, okay, they will be charged extra congestion tax in order to reduce the congestion in the uh, congestion in the city. Okay, Palavaram has encouraged citizens to finance sewerage system through connect, uh, connection deposits and user fees. And Vishakapatnam uh, reformed this property tax law to boost municipal revenues. So Indian cities are facing uh, problems in collection of property tax and Vishakapatnam found solutions, smart solution to this problem. Uh, for example, the city follows annual rental value system to calculate property tax on the basis of building type and tax zone. Okay, the, uh, on the tax zone and build, building type. They also adopted GIS technology to update the database on property and collect the taxes accordingly. So this can be scaled up into other cities of the country okay this is a smart solution to the problem of, of a city the boston has introduced the gunshot sensor to pinpoint the location of the gun's shot spot which helps in immediate security response we know that united states faces the problem of mass shooting in public spaces so this boston city has in introduced gunshot sensor to pinpoint the location of guns gunshot spot and and send the immediate response team to the location. So this is a smart solution uh, which is unique to a particular city. Okay. So London ha has the mayor gets the constant data analysis of Twitter feeds to respond to citizen needs. Okay. So this is another thing. So you can include those points in your answer writing uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the areas of urban uh, development and also sustainable development, smart solution, use of inform information technology in in providing services to the citizens so those are fodder points for me okay so now let's look at the four pillars of smart cities so the pillars include institutional infrastructure physical social and economic infrastructure so these infrastructure are maintained sustainably okay technology used as enabling tool and these infrastructure are used to meet the disaster disasters of the cities in disaster management okay so the cities also provides employment to the citizens and also quality life in order to create employment we need to skill the citizens in the first place and also the cities needs investments so this is the four pillars okay in institutional physical social and economic infrastructure so if you want you can pause and note down these points so this is self-explanatory now let's look at the key components of a smart city model Okay. In order to consider a city as a smart city, these comp components must be there. Okay, So these are different components like energy management in the areas of energy man management, smarter solutions are there. Okay, Urban mobility, e-governance and citizen services, water management, waste management, education, smart spaces, smart environment, smart communication, smart surveillance and smart healthcare. So in the areas of energy management, Smart cities adopt smart grid meters, okay, to prevent uh, to prevent the snatch uh, the theft of uh, electricity, okay, and smart street lighting, which include automatic switching on and off these street lights, advanced distribution management system, adoption of solar energy initiatives, renewable energy source of energy, energy efficiency, okay, and also adoption of green buildings. So these are the smarter solution to the energy management in a city. Okay, urban mobility. In the area of urban mobility, we have intelligent traffic management system. Okay, IDMS, and integrated multimodal tra transportation system. For example, metro rails, mono rails, uh, better public transportation system through BRTs. So these are the multimodal transportation system. Intelligent pricing for public transportation to prevent excess pricing, and also electric cars environment sustainable mobility plans so these are the smart solution to the urban mobility okay in the area of areas of e-governance and citizen services uh, 
the components include smart online municipality services for example online bill payment online tax registration and other issues mobile governance use of mobile technology uh, to provide services to the citizens participatory government single window clearance system for businesses like small and medium enterprises and other uh, business agencies in the cities disaster management solutions gis maps for uh, planning implementation integrated operation among various departments so we need integrated operation uh, where a department must not work in silos okay so these are the issues in e governance in the areas of water management smart meters must be must be fixed in order to uh, fix the accountability of our unsustainable use of water okay so leakage identification and preventive maintenance water quality monitoring so these are the components in water management smart components okay in the waste management real time information of containers and waste bins uh, to better collection of waste from the points automated scheduling of waste collection and disposal okay these are the different components in smart education uh, in, includes digital education smart schools and colleges which has four points and distance uh, distance education facilities okay simulation labs and incubation centers this is one of the smart technology student teacher parents holistic connectedness through uh, various technologies like our uh, uh, webcams and other uh, e learning routes okay and, and in the area of smart spaces uh, we have building automation okay uh, micro infrastructure such as sensor networks urban heating and cooling systems okay advanced high voltage alternate current and lighting equipments these are the smart spaces which provide uh, comfort uh, to the citizens to live okay and smart environment adoption of green buildings which reduces the uh, consumption of energy and at the same time uh, uses the natural ventilation okay these are the green buildings green data centers okay and pollution control system monitoring toxic gas levels in the cities real time monitoring and metro meteorological station uh, to provide uh, accurate information related to rainfall rainfall humidity and, and and other issues okay forest fire detection on the fringes of the cities earthquake early detection warning system to provide uh, alert to the citizens to move to the safest place uh, uh, spaces nice urban maps so these are the smart environment component in the smart city and smart communication we have optical fiber connectivity and city wide wifi connectivity okay this is uh, in the, in the future days uh, internet will be a basic fundamental right so we need to integrate from now on in order to uh, provide this facility to the people and smart city components other includes smart surveillance okay surveillance cameras we know that cities are the target of terrorists okay terrorists target cities majorly and uh, crowded places so we need surveillance cameras and command center analytics okay situational awareness and analysis simulation modeling and crime prevention smart policing using smart technologies like uh, uh, cctv cameras cctns we know that cctns uh, is also there okay home security system traffic violations in the areas of smart healthcare we have smart hospitals improved clinical workflows telemedicine enhanced patient interactions certified smart card readers for patient data security and mobile healthcare so i could explain these points in detail but it drags the video too long and this this are self explanatory you, you know down the points that's sufficient uh, you include these points in writing your answers okay so thanks thanks for watching and i'm going to upload uh, the the remaining parts shortly please share the video since i have not uploaded this vid the videos for a long time uh, please share uh, the videos to reach more subscribers thanks for watching